Hey guys, so I'm a bit of a fool. I had rosehip oil uh, sitting in a box for about like six months. And for some reason, I, I did a lot of research, I did a lot of, uh, I read a lot of reviews on the internet about this and it seems to be a very effective product. But for some reason, I, ne I never tried it. And the reason I, I regret it, so just quickly, this, this one is um, a pure rosehip seed oil. Um, it's cold pressed, it's organic. Um, the makers of it are Life Flow. It's about 30 mils, and I think it roughly costs 10 to 15 Australian dollars, which is, you know, probably, let's just say, 7 to 10 US dollars, or something along those lines. Um, so the reason I actually regret not leaving it for six months is rosehip oil is actually very very effective i found out on my skin at least which is leathery rough dry skin now rosehip is a very strong anti uh, potent antioxidant and it it really helps with damaged skin dry skin cracked skin um, skin with a lot of blemishes and um the only the only issue I have with it is its smell. It's a bit funky. Like it, I don't really know what to compare its smell to. Maybe it's like castor oil, a very strong version of the smell of castor oil, or it it doesn't have necessarily a, a, a very nice smell. Perhaps mix some lavender oil if you're applying it. Um, but yeah, so I I've actually I actually really love this stuff. Now I use a lot of oils, so I'm experimenting a lot. So I. I I'm not very consistent in the, in the application um, of rosehip oil, but I love its effect. It's it's really really good on my skin. Um, yeah, I generally apply it before I sleep. Uh, it really it gives it gives a suppleness to your to your your face. Um, supple means it feels your skin feels bouncy and and healthy. Uh, like how to describe it. Um, it's just, it looks and feels uh, like it's glowing, um, that it's, it's plump. Um, it, it, it has a very tremendous effect on a person's skin. Now, the effect you realize obviously after like several uses. So we're not talking just use it once and you're gonna see results immediately. We're saying you know, over a period of time. Um, it's something more that you have to feel. So basically what I do is um, using the pipit, I'll, you know, suck in, uh, you know, the pipette is the, this device here. So it, it literally draws up the, um, the oil. Um, so I, 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 like I've said in previous videos, I tend to use a lot of this. Like I tend to go to extremes. I will, you don't need to, you generally need to use a little bit, but I'll tend to use a lot. Um, so I would say I would use I would put enough on the palm of my hand to form, let's just say, I'm just trying to hold, hold um, so somewhere, yeah, just, uh, let's see, a dime, a dime's worth, or let me, let me, about this much, see the size of that cap? Um, I would put that much just in terms of surface diameter. Uh, that's not really helping out. Um, it's just hard because I'm holding my phone, it would be easier to put on this thing. I'm just trying to see, how can I show you? So I'll, I'll put some cream on my hand. Um, perhaps that would be helpful. So this is probably how much uh, rosehip oil you'll need, that level of quantity. Rub your hands together. I'm going to waste this, so I'll just rub it in the back of my other hand. So now I have, um, yeah, I'm just going to wash my hands. Yeah, so uh, basically, um, yeah, put it on, put on one, one of your hands, rub your hands together, and just uh, guide it along your face. Make sure not to touch your eyes. With any of the oils, never touch your eyes. Um, if you do, just run it under water and um, let your doctor know. Um, generally only in the case of oregano oil, but in terms of rose hip, I think just run under the water, um, you may be okay. Still, <laughs> check with your doctor, I don't want the liability. Um, yeah, these things shouldn't touch your eyes. Uh, yeah, and then just 
basically apply it to your face on your face before you sleep then you're you're actually allowed to mix a lot of the oils together um, so you can mix for example your rose hip with your lavender oil um, you can mix uh, your lavender oil with the lemon essential oil uh, you can even mix it with um, we'll go through some of the oils later but spearmint spearmint needs a carrier oil um, but yeah so that's again I Rose hip works very well. Most of the products that I'm going to be talking about um, in the first couple of videos are products that I really like and that work. So don't be surprised if, if, if the reviews are generally quite positive. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. The next video is going to be about frankincense oil. All right, see you guys.